Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Rose Modeling with Art of Lisa. Welcome back. This is a channel dedicated to the art form of Rose Modeling, a Norwegian art form that goes back to the 1600s. Alright, so this is a quick video today. I'm a little behind on videos only because I have life. It just gets in the way. Anyway, I'm going to do a quick review on detailing and uh, let me bring you down to my table and kind of show you what we're doing. Alright, as we shake, rattle, and roll here. All right, so today I'm just going to do a review, um, and this review is really in preparation for my video on Friday, where I'm going to work on these butterfly wings that I had started last week. So as you can see, I've already detailed one wing, and I'm going to do the other one on Friday for you guys. But I thought it'd be nice for a little review for those who've been here before and for those that are new to kind of show you what I um, do with these details. All right, so I have two brushes here that I am going to demonstrate with. Uh, the black one here is a 10-0 Premium uh, Original Gold King Arch. It's a 93.75 mid-length liner. I will make sure and put those in the uh, uh, notes down below. And this one is a Joe Sonia Sure Touch 1395 script liner, a size zero. So if you can see, let me see how close I can bring these here. All right, you have one that's thicker and you have one that's thinner. I love my 10 zeros. All right, so I have a board that's prepped. This was, hello, it's fruit snacks. Look, it's Scooby. I take the backs of um, cereal boxes, like Fruit Loops, okay. I take, I take, hello, it's frozen. Um, fruit snacks, whatever, and I base coat them in the uh, color that I'm using in order for myself, for me to kind of test it, uh, play around with colors. So this is a Joe Sonia acrylic chroma background color, Galaxy Blue. Those of you who've been here before know I like this color a lot. All right, so I also have here my wet palette and I have some warm white. Now I'm using acrylics. Rose modeling is traditionally done in oils, uh, but I switched over to acrylics quite a while ago. Don't mind my arm here. All right, I also have a piece of paper towel that is wrapped in plastic. This paper towel is wet and I can put my brushes in there put the plastic wrap over it and it keeps my brushes from drying because you have to remember acrylic brushes or acrylic paint dries very quickly. All right, so in my medium, in my uh, warm white I should say, I have a medium put together and again I'm using Joe Sonia material and it's one, two, one, two, one. It's a flow medium with clear glaze medium and reach harder. Learned this a long time ago from a friend of mine and I have used it ever since. And when I need to make paints looser, um, this, I added this and it's like uh, melted ice cream. Um, that has just worked beautifully. All right, so loading my brush, I'm going to twirl my brush into my paint. And the reason I'm twirling it is I want to get it to a point. All right, so those of you who have seen me do C strokes and S strokes before, you remember that I talk about the airplane. The airplane's coming down for a landing and taking off. It's the same idea with liner brushes. So I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna push my brush down, I'm going to pull it towards me, I'm going to pull it up, and then look at this. I'm just playing right to the point and stop and straight up again. Let's see if I can do something like that again. All right, I'm gonna take my brush. I'm going to push it down. I'm slowing down, pulling up, let the bristles catch up to you. Pull it up and just these little strokes there. Let's see if I can bring you down closer to see here. Try not to get you a little seasick here. Let's try this again see if this will work. So I have my brush. I'm going to take it. I'm going to come down for a landing. I'm going to stop and I'm just going to pull it. Look at these nice little lines. And literally I can just play with my brush. And for all of you 
that are new or even those who have been painting for quite a while, it is fun to take your brush and just experiment with it. All right, so that's the 10-0 script liner. Okay, again, I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it inside of my plastic wrap here, my wet paper towel, push it out of my way. And now I'm back to this slightly bigger brush. It's the size zero. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to twirl my brush, right? There we are. I'm going to twirl it in. All right, now I'm going to come back. I'm just going to flip the paper. Now I always pull the brush towards me. Again, I'm straight up and down. I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to push it down and pull it up. And look at these nice little lines here. Now, Rose modeling, like other decorative art forms, is a study of contrast, thin, thick, light, dark. Now, I don't want to have everything the same width because it's boring. You don't want boring. You want interesting. Isn't it much more interesting if you can come up with something that's just a little thinner and around? And you're just going to bring some lines in. Now when rose modeling, you have these wonderful little tendrils. You'll have stems. You'll have these teardrops. I have one thing I love to do. I love to do something that I call a chocolate chip. I push my brush over. And I just pull a little line up. Just a lot of fun. As you can see here too, I've already been testing colors on this. So we'll just take this brush. And much like the, the smaller brush, I can still get these nice thin lines in it. Now, detailing doesn't mean you're outlining every little thing. You're detailing it. You're giving it interest. You don't want to color, cover up all the strokes you did before. We can just bring this down. Okay, maybe I want to bring something up and around. Alright everybody, so this is a little teaser. I hope you get some chance or get a chance to play with your detail lines and experiment a little. If you're new to my channel and if you've enjoyed this little tidbit, you know, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, you know, come on back. So Friday I'll have a new video. And that will be working on those butterflies. I hope you all have a blessed day. And remember, it's just paint. Take care.